Hello everyone, how are you today? I am Dr. Paramjeet and you are watching Dr. Education. Today we are going to talk about the Ayurvedic and herbal medicines for diabetes. Yes, diabetes can be managed with herbal medicines, with Ayurvedic medicine, but you need to understand some basics about them. Today we are going to talk about the top 10 Ayurvedic herbal uh, medicine substances which act against diabetes. So let's not waste any more time and let's start. Right, number one is Jamuna. Jamun is basically a fruit and the fruit and the seed both are very effective against diabetes. It contains some substances called Jambuline and it is used for alternative healing purpose, uh, so healing systems like Ayurvedic, uh, Chinese, Yunani medicines that's used there. The extract of this fruit as well as the seed both are effective in diabetes in hyperglycemia especially has been proven in diabetic rats as well the fruit is also used for wine and vinegar preparation as well as it is very high in vitamin a and vitamin c right the second second thing which can be used for diabetes is berberis lysium berberis is a is very popular in wide variety of health issues it is its root uh, produces high concentrations of berberine which is also used in traditional medicines the whole extract of this plant is very useful or widely used to treat diabetes in Ayurveda it has been reported that this medicine is also a diaphoretic and a diuretic which is used as a tonic as well as in various preparations for treating you know, eye diseases, jaundice, skin, diarrhea, syphilis, chronic diseases, etc., rheumatic, uh, rheumatoid diseases, and urinary disorders as well. Right? So, the uh, pharmacology and uh, properties of this particular uh, plant is also very uh, deeply studied. Then, third is Gudmar. Gudmar is one of the most primary active component uh, and its its active component is also called as gymnamic acid gymnamic acid which actually helps suppress the sweetness of your tongue right sweet feeling it basically contains substances that decrease the absorption of sugar from your intestine and it might also increase the amount of insulin in your body and increase the growth of cells in the pancreas right that it has been postulated right and this uh, research has also shown that it can reduce the ability to taste sweetness in your body so that sweet food will become less appealing so that's why it is basically called as destroyer of sugars right because of its effect on the taste buds so that is good mar then there is something karela right Kar karela which is very very commonly eaten in India and uh, it has a number of supported uses including cancer prevention, diabetes, uh, fever, fever, HIV, AIDS, infections, it's active against all these things and while it has shown very good potential in clinical activity in laboratory experiments but further studies is basically going on on this particular thing but it is uh, it is basically very well uh, known for its usefulness in diabetes as well as sugar control right then there is turmeric turmeric haldi so haldi is a basic a basic ingredient which is present in all families in india mostly it's a plant from the uh, ginger family and it is basically also uh, active ingredient of traditional chinese ayurvedic herbal medicines its active compound is curcumin it has caught attention uh, in recent times for a potential of treating various diseases. It's a good antioxidant, increases glutathione, has some activity against diabetes also. It's basically uh, the best part is it's relatively safe and very inexpensive. So it also can be used to you know boost your immunity. Turmeric milk is very routinely used in India. So you can also use that. Then <coughs> prevention of diseases is also one of the good thing which happens if you take turmeric. Then the next thing is Vijayasar. Vijayasar is a wood, the heartwood of Vijayasar is, is, has antibiotic and hypoglycemic properties and it's also used in diabetes. 
Right? Then there is something called a skino gum, which is obtained from the incision in the bark of this wood has astringent and anti-diarrheal as well as anti-hemorrhagic properties. So anti-hemorrhagic, anti-diarrheal means it can be used in diarrhea, it can be used in uh, blood problems, right? Leaves can also be used to treat external boils, sores and other skin diseases while the flower, I know flowers are also used in certain medical purposes, right? So Vijayasar is good. Then there is Nimba, Nimbu basically, Neem, Neem basically, Neem, not Nimbu. Neem is believed to be the core, you know, ingredient of Siddh and many Ayurvedic practitioners, it is, it is, it is thought to be anti-helminthic, anti-fungal, anti-diabetes, anti-bacteria, anti-viral, anti-antiseptic, you know, contraceptive, and, and and also sedative right it is a major component of this these alternative medicines used very very routinely for skin diseases and it is also known for its effect against diabetes it also seen to improve liver function and also detoxify blood at certain extent but uh, quite frankly uh, as it it is very routinely used for skin diseases eczema psoriasis etc etc so this is one ingredient neem which is also very good then there is shilajit shilajit has something called as uh, fulvic acid fulvic acid is a yellow brown substance found in natural minerals that is shilajit this is the main ingredient of it right fulvic acid might have various effects on the body and fulvic acid might actually uh, you know, block the reaction of the body uh, that causes allergic symptoms it might also interrupt uh, steps involved in the worsening of brain disorders such as dementia Additionally, these fulvic acid might reduce inflammation and or prevent slowing of, you know, prevent or slow the growth of cancers and also prevent it. So fulvic acid actually is useful for stimulating your immune system. It has antioxidant effect. That's why shiladit is used by, in India. The only problem is uh, its purity, right? In invest, that's a major concern, right? Getting pure shiladit. Then there is something called a strigonella, funigric. Funigric basically. Funigric methi basically seeds are very useful uh, to reduce insulin resistance. Diabetes patients use them very often. Clinical trials with funigric seed extract have suggested that if you take regular, if you take funigric like one gram uh, of the seed extract, then you can significantly reduce your blood glucose level within a few months. Then that is a good option to be included. And the last one, the top ten last is bitter gourd. Bitter gourd is basically also having uh, anti-diabetic properties it is bitter and mostly it, it is and it is also used extensively in ayurvedic medicine die in diabetes it helps to increase insulin secretion improving the function of the pancreas the beta health cells of the pancreas and thereby somehow the diabetes becomes uh, well controlled so now you know about the top 10 ingredients Top 10 Ayurvedic herbal naturally occurring substances which are used in treatment of diabetes. But should you actually stop using your own allopathic medicines and start these? No, you should not do them. If your medicines, if your diabetes is not controlled and you want to try an additional medication these ingredients are very good to add and if you want to start off your treatment then also you can go on these naturally occurring ingredients but do not stop your allopathic medicines do not stop your insulin right just by switching on to ayurvedic medicines without monitoring your sugar that is wrong so what you need to do you need to start monitoring your fasting blood sugar daily and start taking your medicines allopathic medicines with these naturally occurring ingredients and see when your sugar comes down then slowly with the discussions with your doctor reduce your allopathic medicines and then you can go on to your ayurvedic treatment completely over a period of time when your sugars become controlled and below 100 fasting sugar is below 100 below 80 then you should slowly stop your medicine so that's how you use ayurvedic medicines in diabetes do not stop your allopathic or insulin allopathic medicines or insulin just by switching on to these medicines now if you really want to uh, you want me to suggest a medicines 
I would be suggesting the medicine from N Veda. N Veda has a medicine called SMB sugar management and balance capsule these are again very well certified 100% good quality natural herbs and they have eight of these naturally occurring ingredients for your diabetes control it has jamuna it has the berberis it has gudmar karela it has the turmeric it has vijayasar then neem or shud shilajit also so all these things are present in this capsule and you can start taking these capsules depending upon your diabetes if it is very uncontrolled you can take them two to three times a day one tablet and if it is good control and you just want to switch then start taking one capsule per day and slowly increase the dose with discussions with your doctor obviously you should have a doctor general practitioner endocrinologist a diabetes first doctor or an ayurvedic doctor with general with regular consultation so that your sugars are under control the main objective is the sugar level should not go very high for a long period of time and it should not go very low also both are dangerous remember if you really want to understand diabetes in further details you can watch my other videos for diabetes for this particular video this section has been partnered with enveda i will also give you the link of that capsules in the description below you can go and buy those capsules and let us know how well was your diabetes control and if somebody wants to consult me online the details have been given above and below in hindi and english you can contact us for needful thank you so much for watching this is dr paramjeet stay connected stay healthy